Hello, this is uh, the fourth governance call for NFTX. Uh, I'm going to be hosting it. It's Finesse Boy and uh, Alex is going to be here with me. Uh, you can also do an intro. So yeah, uh, Alex, cool. I'm passing it to you. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I was just saying before that uh, it's my 30th birthday today, so I might hey. have uh, an emotional breakdown halfway through the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no, I won't. Uh, yeah, and I missed last week's meeting because my alarm didn't go off. But uh, things things have been really exciting. Uh, I, m I make jokes occasionally about how most mornings I wake up and the first thing I do is I ask Chop what I should do. <laughs> so he's becoming somewhat like my boss, and uh, I'm totally okay with that. So uh, yeah, that's cool. And just like the NFT scene, you know, another another week of awesomeness. Um, I've been getting hit up by like some Chinese companies uh, about like just trying to hear about the NFT scene and where things are headed. I think Chop has been having a similar experience. So yeah, we can just like feel the momentum. Um, and I think it's, it's so cool because like in crypto, we're used to things being very niche. Uh, but with this NFT scene, it's like we're seeing it on all ends, like, you know, retail, and even like CEOs of Silicon Valley companies like Dylan Field. And so it's just, uh, yeah, it's really exciting to kind of be at the center of all that. Um, and uh, it's getting a lot of positive attention. So that's good. And uh, yeah, on a less positive side, you know, the front end continues to be uh, a thorn in my butt. So uh, hopefully we'll have an alternative front end soon, I'm told. Uh, but I think, you know, for now we're still, it's still working. Um, it's still like we're still making it work, but there will definitely be something better soon. And uh, yeah, last week we did the mask fund. I guess that that's a big news um, because I launched it at like 4 a.m. I put one mask in it and it cost me like 50 bucks in gas. And I thought, you know, no way anyone's going to put their masks in here. And now there's something like 350 masks. Uh, and I, that's really just from the mask token basically going viral and selling for more than the floor hash mask. So people, you know, pumping their, their masks into the fund, um, adding liquidity, adding supply. And, you know, that's exactly what NFTX is about. So really exciting to see that. Um, and yeah, we got another fund coming out later this week, which I won't announce quite yet because I'm still talking to the team, but uh, cool stuff, really cool stuff. And uh, I'll hand it back to Finesse. Nice to hear. Yep, it's a good overview of what's been going on in the past week. I think Chop is going to cover more of that as well when he does the weekend review. So yeah, I think we can uh, cut that off as the intro. I just want to say lastly that we're always looking for more contributors. So if you think you can add value, just join the... Mm -hmm. Should I pick up with the, with the weekend review? Finesse. Yeah, I think that, that, that... Sure, that's good. I yeah. think Finesse muted himself there. I don't know if he meant to do that. Yeah. Uh, yep. I was unaware, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So basically, uh, as part of this governance call, uh, we always round up the weekly uh, to just make sure everybody is aware of all the like high touch points uh, that we spoke about in the blog. Uh, so first off, the rebrand. So last week, uh, I've been partaking some Twitch streams, very long ones with Ben uh, Pierrot, who did the uh, is the designer of our new branding. Uh, and we came to like the final mark uh, in the end after a lot of like uh, uh, creative sessions, which was very fun to watch. And if you like design, uh, then it's definitely a recommendation to check it out. Um, uh, the final branding deliverables will be in my mailbox, hopefully today or tomorrow. Uh, uh, he had some like finalization to do, uh, which took a bit longer than expected, but should be fine and be delivered so that the UI team of the gallery uh, page can pick it up. Uh, so that's the second topic. Uh, in the week of uh, a weekly roundup is uh, the gallery squad been working super hard on uh, making this thing come alive. It's been super fun to follow and uh, give input on. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, the link is in the blog post, uh, which is definitely something you want to check out because uh, it's essentially going to function as the new front end that Alex just mentioned. 
Uh, then there's the uh, like new funds, like Finesse just mentioned, the Hashmask fund has been quite popular uh, and was perfectly timed with the like hype around Hashmask. So I think it's quite clear that uh, NFTX is super useful for finding uh, more liquidity for NFTs, especially in the like lower uh, bracket of pricing. So floor uh, indexes work quite well, uh, which is good to see because it's uh, like a validation of uh, product market fit. Um, then there's a point that we had, which is called uh, Kenny. So Kenny is a board for anyone to give feedback directly to the team. Uh, it's open now for anyone to provide uh, like future requests on the product or just general uh, feedback that we can improve the product with. Uh, there's a link in the blog post that you can uh, use to just uh, like anonymously or not uh, provide feature requests for uh, to us. Uh, and then there's the highlights, uh, which I think I mentioned last governance call also uh, is the tutorial series. So I made one uh, previously that goes into how to mint a D1 token. And now I have one online which uh, goes into how to redeem a D1 token for an NFT, uh, which I both used in a blog post for the Hashmasks fund uh, so that people actually know how to use uh, NFTX uh, well. So that's, uh, that's about it. It was quite light or uh, very focused on the rebranding uh, stuff uh, to be expected. Oh yeah, and then the last thing I think, uh, are, we, are we going into proposals after this? Uh, I mean, there's not really anything that has been proposed apart from your liquidity yeah, yeah. Uh, proposal, but I was gonna ask if any, anyone had any ideas of future proposals, this would also be a good time for that. Mm -hmm. If not, then we can just skip over it and yeah, just so talk about hash masks. Mm. Uh... Yeah, I've got a proposal uh, which I'm thinking about, which is basically the uh, start of farming. Uh, I'm not sure if it's it's going to be a proposal. It's it's mainly like starting the discussion about uh, what should liquidity farming look like. Uh, I think it's too early to really start that discussion before we've rolled out the other uh, D1s. Uh, Those are my thoughts as well. Yeah. yeah, so that's kind of like my idea at the moment is essentially uh, work if like if the if the current proposal that goes into the like the one liquidity passes, then uh, working on the rollout plan and launching them uh, will be my top priority together with the rebrand uh, rollouts, of course. I think that's a good idea. And uh, yep. we had already talked about that before, like having mm -hmm. a, a not a roadmap, but product releases uh, with other products. Yeah. So they're more efficient and like there's compound value. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you guys don't mind, I just wanted to jump in because I, I totally forgot to mention uh, like the rebranding um, in my quick intro. And yeah, I just want to say like I was I'm super happy with how that went. Um, and props to you, Chop and Ben. You guys did like an awesome job. I'm really excited to like you know get that out. Um, and I'm I'm just really stoked with how we we didn't go with like the cookie cutter blockchain logo idea. You know, like the blue polygon galaxy type thing, which is you know what we kind of wanted I think originally because that's what works well for a lot of projects. Um, but you know, we came up with something that's our own and it's really descriptive. So yeah, great stuff. That's cool. Nice. Thanks, man. Yeah, it went really well. I would like to reiterate that you did a good job on that chop. Thank you. All right. So, um, what do you guys think about golden hash masks? I think we could launch a golden or not a golden, but golden robot hash mask fund because there's about 160 of them and like it could help set a floor price because I, I like I think it's a good category of uh, hash masks. Uh, I, I think I mean I think that would be a really cool idea um, and 
it's just like we so we're working on this patch right now for the create vault so like right now there's still like kind of uh basically like a 48 hour delay um that we have to like wait for making new funds but that's not a big deal um yeah that would be really cool what, what do other people think yeah i think i think similar um i'm not sure did you talk to the hashmax community uh it, like is it a request from their community or is it uh, just no, an idea from us it's a it's an idea that i had because i think okay. those have the most demand uh -huh. apart from like basic uh, like floor hash masks yep if, if it's if it's not a request um just because we are in the midst of like this patch um it might be better to hold off for a little bit um but you know yeah like typically you know like uh, like the reason we launched this mask fund was because we're in this patch like normally somebody anybody could have just come and made the mask fund themselves kind of like anyone can go and make a mask eth uniswap pool or something so um like yeah maybe it's better if we wait for the patch i don't know what do you think chop um I mean, we can, we can always spawn it and see what happens. I, I wouldn't uh, expect it to be uh, that popular versus the current one. Uh, so the prize, uh, in, uh, like the floor prize one. Um, but I mean, as long as it doesn't impact any other stuff, like the rollouts of the original fund, uh, I think it, it might make sense uh, to get some more yeah. fire. What? The reason why I think it's good is because I, I don't think there would be much impact. It was just like it would take 48 hours to do. But apart from that, I, I don't think there's much else. Like it's just uh, like buying one golden robot to uh -huh. like bootstrap the, the pool, but that's it. Well, yeah, no, we, it's a cool idea. Yeah. Um, I don't have to the pool, pool, right? Oh, sorry. The, the reason I think it's also really good is because like we can start rolling out towards a D2 hash mask fund later on. If we already have multiple like D1s and like we also play on the hash mask uh, like hype while it's still ongoing as opposed to yeah. later if it does die down temporarily. That's true. Uh, do we have to bootstrap the, the, the stuff? Kind of yes and kind of no. Um, so and if like our funds, we work better um, for kind of more middle like items that are like uh, above a hundred dollars but there's still like a high number of them to put into the fund so like you know the mask fund is a perfect example of where we really show our strength right because those floor hash masks they're worth like a thousand bucks or more um, but there's still like uh, over a hundred in the fund um, so it's like kind of like that happy medium point i think with like the more higher value funds so like when we get to like punk zombie and like kitty founder and those type of funds um they work better as um kind of uh, as they work better as an ingredient in a larger fund so it's like the punk d2 fund benefits from having a portion of punk zombie in it but like because punk zombie is so expensive it's less likely to go viral i think because most people don't like holding you know like a small fraction of something as opposed to just um, trading the cheaper one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's, there's just some thoughts. Um, I completely agree with you there, mm -hmm. but that's why I think like uh, golden robots right now are about the same price as like crypto punks, like floor punks. So I think it's, yeah, it's no, they're it, still it cheap enough cool. at the um, moment. I, I'm, I'm the only reason I'm a little bit hesitant is just because personally, I haven't even had a chance to like really dig into the hash masks so like um like golden robot i'm i'm just out of the loop i feel like i feel like an old person at a kids party <laughs> um so I, I just have to dig into them but i think that i think it's a great idea and we definitely want to do it sooner or later so yeah it's just a matter of timing yeah well so yeah i, I think it's a good idea uh as long as it doesn't block any like uh, other stuff Avery, uh, are you here because I, I think you had a few hash masks. I like had if, a, you have, if you have input on that. Yeah, I think I think it's a good idea to go. I was chatting with some friends about hash masks. And since they've seen it and the project, they have eight into NFTs. 
like they just can't believe that they didn't get on the on the boat beforehand mm-hmm. um and they got it that they've missed out so i think with the hash mask and the publicity that it's got we'll have a lot of traction with people who are entering the space uh-huh. that may not have had exposure to it before so i think it's a good thing um and then in terms of which ones we we choose the other sought after things seem to be the sets that are coming up but i think it's difficult for us to i wouldn't necessarily use a set like the sets like the egyptian hieroglyphs yeah. uh playing cards the books um well not necessarily the books but the book background um but you can't they 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 aren't attributes so i think it'd be a lot harder to we would have to f- physically view each of those getting entered into the fund because there's no real way of identifying so them with attributes that's that's actually not an issue but the other issue here would be what alex was saying that those are priced too high to be worth it and they're in like two small quantities but in reality like we can just make an allow and deny list so like we can create the sets ourselves that's not a, a real issue I yeah see. that's actually it's funny because that's actually like one of the weaknesses is that we have to manually <laughs> approve individual tokens right i now. think no no i think that's a, a great advantage for this exactly <clears throat> so it's kind of ironic because it's like yeah we we view it as like something we need to fix but it, it works well for this situation yep i, uh, I had told chop hmm. like if you go on open c you can't choose for sets like these specific sets whereas if you would go on nftx you would be able to do that yeah by the oh, way wow. that, that's really cool so on this uh on this topic like uh i think in general it's it's good to spawn a new hash mask fund or multiple but i think we also need some like more uh research on their community and we have uh uh Eddie, who is very involved in hash masks, uh, who could maybe uh, give us some input, right? Instead of us spawning up 10 different funds, uh, maybe we can, or I can reach out to the hash mask team or their mods uh, to see if we can uh, do some sense checks towards their community to understand what the like highest demand and- is. Do we have any, poll, uh, any polls or something? Like you could use Twitter or something to turn into a yeah, bit yeah, of something like that. Event. Something yeah. simple. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Should we do that? Yeah, um, I think we can do that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, okay. I think so. Um, you know, like our NFTX, we kind of have to straddle this in between point mm-hmm. uh, between being like a permissionless platform like Uniswap, but then also kind of taking control um, for like. The bigger projects like hash masks so it is good i think if we have like a squad dedicated to hash mask funds yeah. um, like thinking about you know which funds we should do first mm-hmm. all right all right i think uh that's enough for hash masks uh and uh, like we don't really have any other proposal ideas at the moment so i'm gonna pass it to you chop so you can talk about the rebrand and gallery with quag and javery and jb since they're here i guess yeah so for the rebrand, I don't think there's much more to say than I just did already. Uh, uh, so going back again, uh, waiting on deliverables, everything's been done. Uh, and with those deliverables, we'll uh, build a rollout plan uh, and also like a quick and dirty uh, brand guide so that the gallery team can uh, work with that and implement it before we launch, hopefully. Uh, if the deliverables take too long, uh, so if they're not in my email box uh, by Friday, uh, then I think we shouldn't uh, uh, be blocked by that. So the, uh, I feel confident that the current gallery product is uh, solid enough to launch with the current logo. Uh, if that has to be done, uh, uh, right? Like I, I, I would hope. That doesn't have to be done, but if it's uh, if it's going to be a blocker, don't let it be a blocker. Uh, let's just uh, move forward with rolling out the gallery ASAP uh, so that we can get it in the user's hands and get user feedback uh, instead of trying to uh, make everything perfect. Uh, so that's that from my side. Uh, Quag, Javery, JB, I don't know if you have more to push about, uh, like, information to push about the gallery? 
Um, not much of what I put in the chat earlier. Last week's mainly been sort of behind the scenes stuff, application structure, getting some deployment stuff, um, figured out basically how we want to work things. So it's been less to see, I guess, rather than the week before where we were pushing up sort of, you know, new UI tweaks every hour or so. So I think some of the boring behind the bits, behind the scenes bits have been done now and those decisions have been made. So I'm hoping this week is going to be a lot more of just getting those UI layouts and components done. Um, so that hopefully like basically with the week after that or any additional time after that we can spend just sort of wiring up to actually pulling in you know real contract data and stuff and and pricing etc that sort of bits so yeah my plan anyway for the next week is to try and get as much as the ui done in a dumb fashion so like you know not necessarily wide up things uh, as possible so that we can then spend most of the time wiring it together mm -hmm. okay right. that's good um, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, <laughs> another. another well, sorry, I, I, I sound terrible because I'm, oh. I'm fighting, fighting, maybe fighting the COVID at the moment. So I sound so terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are you guys are doing like a fantastic job. Um, like JB Quag, Javery. Uh, like I'd go and check out the the squad sometimes, and have to admit I'm jealous. It, it looks so cool, and uh, yeah, I, I got to spend more time hanging out with you guys there. <laughs> <laughs> soon man I think it's just consistent building I mean if you pop in here and there it's it's enough yeah oh, yeah I know I mean I'm just like I just jealous I feel I feel like I'm missing out on all the fun <laughs> but I think that covers it for the gallery mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure if it's ready or not but we can put a link to the Figma and a Canny in the description. So if anyone is interested, uh, they can check it out and give some feedback already. Yeah. Yeah, I'll grab that and drop it in now. Great. Um, does anyone have any more ideas regarding farming? I think uh, like Chops, you said you wanted to do a proposal, but does, do you have yeah. anything else to say or? Well, uh, I have some thoughts a bit uh, on farming. So one of my thoughts that I think uh, should be put high on the discussion uh, agenda, essentially, uh, on the forum and on Discord and like during these types of calls, when next time we uh, have everything set up well so that we can't get trolled, I think it's good to talk about uh, allocation and percentages that we earmark at the start uh, of NFTX and uh, how all that kind of has changed because of the price action of NFTX. Uh, so for people listening in, uh, originally there's 20% of the total supply, which is uh, earmarked for farming, uh, liquidity farming, uh, and earmarked meaning that it's uh, like tagged to be used for that, uh, um, but that's back when the price was, what, what was the price in dollar average? I think like three, four-ish uh, during the race, community race, uh, which has went up a, a lot, uh, which also means that the original ID behind this 20% doesn't really hold ground anymore, uh, because in dollar valuation, it's kind of ridiculous to use that total amount uh, for a short-lived farm, at least. So what I want to start discussing about is, uh, should we still hold to this 20% earmark or should we lower it? Uh, and if we hold, do we uh, just draw out the liquidity farm over a much more, uh, like a much longer time? Uh, and all that, like uh, that, types of talks I think are kind of essential before we start to uh, allocate stuff to uh, specific pools. Uh, so I think that, that that's like a, a very important topic to, uh, to discuss about and find like a common ground on. Um, I think those are definitely valid concerns and should be definitely like dealt yeah, with yeah. before making permanent decisions. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, I think so too. And then another uh, fault I had, but uh, uh, I'll structure it a bit more, is that I think uh, when we have the D1 and the D2 pools uh, out in the open, then we can see a little bit more how they be how they behave without liquidity farming active. Uh, so uh, looking at the hash mask fund, for example, uh, we only put one hash mask in uh to bootstrap it and there's 350 in at the moment uh so that means we wouldn't really need farming for uh the liquid part of that fund and i i want to like uh get a better sense on how the other d ones behave once they're actually up on sushi uh so like the like the floor crypto punks and uh, uh Axie origins all that kind of stuff uh I want to see how uh, liquidity uh, grows organically uh, before thinking about uh, like allocations, essentially. I just want to say something quickly before yeah, I let yeah. you speak, Alex. But um, I think we should maybe do farming on a week by week basis or month by month basis mm -hmm. instead of saying, OK, we're going to give this much out for the next few years or whatever. Yeah, I think it gives much more freedom and like malleability to be able to, to change what you're giving out and to who mm -hmm. based on what the market is telling you, as opposed to yeah. saying, okay, I'm going to predict things for the next few years. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Alex, uh, you can tell me. Yeah. Um, actually now I want to say something else because I, I just agreed very strongly with what you just said. Uh, yeah. I was going to say that like maybe, you know, we should probably wait until we have like our rebrand and a new front end and like possibly even an updated protocol. Mm -hmm. um, really take advantage of farming. But yeah, like you said, finesse, you know, there's no reason that it has to be an all or nothing thing. Um, and yeah, we have like so much money now, like, I mean, over $20 million, like quote unquote earmarked for farming, which is kind of way too much. Um, and just like to give an example, you know, like joy, the joy fund is like one of our main funds. We're hoping mm -hmm. um, if, if joy like i i think like the total joy market cap i don't know but it would it'd probably be like seven figures right like in the millions like uh -huh. a few million so like there would potentially be more to be earned in rewards um, than the actual market cap so yeah it could be really ridiculous for some nfts and just over the top and more than we need so yeah um we can discuss that more and i think if we did something like finesse suggested where it's uh you know week by week or month by month basis then there's no reason we have to get you know too worried about any one decision we make and another thing that i wanted to to say like about what you just said was that's not the biggest concern because we can also allocate farming to like individual d1 like eth pools so uh -huh. like you could you could give out like only 0.0001% to joyce so because you know that the market cap is not big or whatever that's not yeah, yeah. That, that's, that's not true. necessarily a concern but yeah it's it, it's more like a, a problem in theory but we have like solutions to that mm -hmm. no good point yeah no, another point by the way on that uh on the week or month by month uh, basis uh of a thought i had uh, which i think i already shared uh with most of you on the call uh but for anyone listening um there's been quite some interest by artists and like creators in general like it doesn't have to be art like an nft but uh creators to launch new projects on nftx uh, or true nftx more uh to like bring drops to a bigger audience instead of having a limited amount because nfts are non-fungible um, and i think liquidity farming might actually be a way to uh to do that uh in a like a collaborative uh, manner so what i was thinking is if bigger or medium or even like even small artists uh want to do a drop uh with using the nft uh, nfcx protocol or even like a separate product that we build for uh like launching new drops for artists um it might be cool to use the DAO and the governance to uh, have like a monthly spotlight, like artist spotlight kind of, uh, where they drop a new like uh, collection through NFTX 
and then also be part of the liquidity farm for the next month. So we bootstrap essentially their entire project uh, by almost guaranteeing uh, liquidity because that's like uh, how farms kind of work these days. Uh, so I think that's, that's kind of an idea I have in mind, which could be integrated into what you said, Finesse. Uh, uh, it would be similar to like what Sushi is doing with Onsen and new projects, like new yeah, projects yeah, that yeah. get launched on Onsen have a lot of initial liquidity, whereas in the past few months, that wasn't the case uh -huh. they had to, to struggle and fight for it. Yeah. So I think that's kind of cool, a cool thought. Uh, also from a, like a exposure and well, the more marketing perspective, it would be nice to have entire different communities being attracted to NFTX just purely because of this like collaborative launch uh, ID. And with like the 20% uh, being huge now, I think we could sustain that uh, for a very long time. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. No. Uh, I think we should wrap the call up soon. There's, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, cool. Because, yeah, it's, it's my birthday. I go eat birthday. <laughs> You should yeah. be eating cake, man. Yeah, man. What the um, fuck? Pancakes <laughs> and bacon. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, anything else we should speak about? I mean, uh, we covered the front-end stuff when we were talking about the, the gallery. And, like, product-wise, yeah. there's not much else to say. No. No, I guess we can kind of recap with... Uh, the like the problem we just had with yep. the uh, uh, like having to close the governance call, which isn't really optimal, of course. <laughs> uh, so I think uh, like finding a solution for that so it doesn't really happen next time. Uh, yeah, sure. Absolutely. And and I guess one other thing we should mention is that we're going to be having standups now. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Do you want to you want to mention that chop? I guess it's, I kind of just did. Yeah. Uh, so all the uh, people that contribute to whatever uh, goes around in the NFTX ecosystem uh, will be doing stand-ups as of tomorrow uh, at f for UTC, right? Am I wrong? Wait, let me check. Yeah, I, I know it's early for me. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, so it's it's uh, four thirty, uh, isn't it? Or three yeah, three thirty UTC. So four thirty CET um, uh, on a daily routine. Um, so if anyone that hasn't got an invite uh, wants to be part of that, uh, it's basically uh, like a fifteen to thirty minute, uh, yeah, stand up meeting uh, which goes on daily for everybody to like sing and talk about what they're doing, uh, what's in progress, if they're blocked, uh, how can we help, and all that kind of stuff, uh, so that we get some more structure uh, and uh, yeah, collaborate, collaborative behavior uh, ongoing within the DAO. Uh, so I'm the owner of the calendar. So if you want to be part, uh, just send me a DM, and I can, uh, can put you in the calendar. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Well, thank cool. you guys. Go have a good birthday. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, I'll still be around. Happy birthday. <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. I'll, I'll be around. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey. All right. All right. Happy birthday. Yeah, thanks. Happy birthday.